Well, it's the same one I saved last night, so it should be. Um, yes. It says investigation, but technically we're just on for the... Stop rubbing your eyes. Oh, so how's everybody doing? How about a 10 millionaire? No kidding. The Backstreet Boys are on for... The Backstreet Boys actually make a cameo in my sequel life, in the sequel life, so I'm doing. So ain't that cool? You'll know it when you see it. Hmm. Well, I guess we might as well just get on with it. Hi, everybody. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation that they were gathered by the Red Door. As soon as we were all there... Monokuma what?! Appears! Two times in a row, man! Wrong. Oh. I think the one on the right. And then if you tell me I'm wrong, I'll say because I was looking from the other direction what? instead of your so right. Proud. Stop yeah, okay. piece of shit. Hey, hey! The pain train, yeah, bring on the pain train, you know Let's it. Let's go. How's it going, Ray J? Please. Please. What the heck? What the heck? Piece of shit. Mm. He's the new piece of shit. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> no. What? <laughs> How unfortunate, but it would seem we have our culprit. Dude! Hey. That's right. That's right. I have to, I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hitfumi and Taki get away with it. For everyone who's still alive and for the two who lost their lives. Let's do it. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is none other than someone right here. All right, real quick here. Damn. Damn. I know. Hmm. I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to get your input on how you feel about this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me it's not gonna be that easy. Then again, it might be. I don't know. This. You gotta believe me. Hey. Sure, sure. What about you? Ooh, yes, yes. So you're her. All right. Let's see it. Is this it? This everybody who's left? Yeah, it's getting down to like nothing. I took one last deep breath. And exhale slowly. The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. Big Mac, I don't know, man. The cooking of the elevator kept us in company as we fell further and further down. There's so few of us left now. It's like down to half. Half of 16. Here we go. Not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. Oh wow. This looks cool. That's a flush. Uh, well, I think it's just because this game is so loud, I just need to turn the sound down in the games that I play so I can hear it better. So hopefully it'll be better tonight, because I turned down the music tonight and the sounds are over. I hate you so much, but I'm so cute. Come on. I know. Yeah. Okay. But it's like blue. It's like a blue punch. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. Get flushed on. Yes, I would like to do that. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I'd like to look over these real fast. So yeah, the victims are Hifumi and Taka. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It was thought they were both killed with a similar weapon. 
Blue tarp was found in the repository under Taka's lifeless body. It's apparently used to move him in order to avoid leaving bloodstains, yes. Dolly was found when the body was rediscovered in the repository. Rediscovered? Ugh. This was his eye has no handles and blood was found on one of his wheels. It is assumed that this is the same Dolly that was in the equipment room where Taka's body was originally discovered. The glasses, dude! First found in their tops, you know, so we thought, however, they were next to the console, they were cool. That's weird. Hammers of all shapes and sizes were found. One of them was wet. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. So one of them's been washed. Why not, like, all four of them? Which one of the four is that? The door connecting the art room to the repository was designed to open only from the repository side. According to Owie. Owie! It was locked during the search for the missing body. However, when the body was rediscovered, it had somehow been unlocked. A little blood, tire tracks, yeah. Glasses cleaning flop here. Somebody disappeared when it's the bathroom! Apparently they weren't gone for more than a minute or two. Yeah, okay, I remember that. That's weird. Heedle's message. This is the note that Heedle wrote to everyone to meet in the dining hall. Meet in the dining hall, is all it says. Blueprints for Robo Justice. Which way he's going? Uh, am I getting ready for Pax West? Yes, I am. No one but Hedo could have possibly fit in the costume. In addition, anyone wearing it would not be able to see their feet or bend in the waist for more than 90 degrees. And their shadow probably weighs up 42 pounds. Apparently, Yasuhiro received a serious note that read, I'm holding with the skin. Even the wreck room at 1 a.m. Mm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh, then there's a scrap of paper, yeah. And there's and the note Hifumi had. Okay. So the note was originally given to Hiro, but somehow Hifumi ended up with it? That's weird. Um, oh, and then the e-handbook. <laughs> oh! It's not Yana, dude! Good lord! Presents, report card. Okay, some skills here. Okay, so I I thought that like 7 out of 16 meant that's how many I have left to use. That's actually how many I currently am using. Which means. Well, memorizing a statement. That's cool. I've been told I might have to memorize more of these. So this is a uh, steady your aim a little. Older. Okay, cool. That's good. So many skills, so little time. Good evening, Juker. What's up? Are you going to Vice Park? I assume you are. Guess, uh, and now they must confront two murders. Who claimed the lives of Ifumi and Kiyotaka? This class trial, shit goes down. Trail, all rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation Honorable. of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Mm -hmm. If you can figure out uh, who done it, too bad then they on. will receive punishment. But, if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. That's right, now Asian then. potato. To begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? <laughs> it was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shake your murdering mouth, murderer! Who what? Are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. Assume. And all of it was found in your room. 
you have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you mm -hmm. as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That 360, though, man. Does he were really the killer, or before anything else, we have to make that. Make my argument, huh? Got some Weedle's message. Okay. What was his message? Everything we found in your <laughs> Hang on, I, oh my god, sorry for burping, man, this is horrible. Alright, um... So, no fast forward argument, open hand, open menu. That's what I want, F1, okay. So, cause then you can actually look at it and see which one that is. Maybe that'll help. Okay, that's no mean dying call. I mean, we assume he wrote it. Okay. What have we found in your the room? Blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Oh, there's a lot of, like, white noise in here. I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true! It's a conspiracy! Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! I'm just gonna let these play through each time so I know all the options before I start. Looking at the blueprints and writing thoughtful message. Oh, wait a minute. You're right. Everything we found okay. Alright, alright. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. No, no. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Over. I don't know. Wait, you got that. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Films. Boom. That's wrong. So far, so good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm starting to feel. Are we uh, sure Hero here. really made those blueprints? I love this blue room. What do you mean? Well. Well, take a look at this. Look at the handwriting, man. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. Mm -hmm. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That looks like a no two-year-old room. You could think the same person made both of them. Yeah. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. Yeah, that's the thing. No, That'd be easy to the do. The differences are bigger than that, I think. Really? Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. Yeah, what? To be honest, wait, how do I, I can't get to the option? Uh, you know what, it's fine. I was gonna say how the music is still a little loud compared to the voices, but... Uh, and he is not the only one. I think Hero is innocent as well. Okay, well that's very contrary in a few. Then who was in that robo-justice suit? It was Mega Man! Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? No, not a second one. The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Team Twy, what's up? Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Oh, of course he passes it off to me. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? <laughs> the Illuminati. Are you kidding me? Um. I mean, he was in the suit when we found him. You know, that's pretty clear she didn't fit into it. I think they're trying to lead us. I got it. Okay. Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never the found Illuminati. any kind you gotta of be kidding suit. Man. Yeah. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. The Metroid that prime doesn't make suspect. Any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. Yeah, it well, there's a difference between. Sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what Ooh. you're saying is. That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. Okay. What? Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? Is the picture, you do have a reason, yes. Of course. Right. But before we get to that, yeah, before we get to that, of course we're gonna do some ass first. 
so let's get that out of the way. Okay, let's do it. Stop trying to boss us around. All things have a proper order. Yup. So uh -oh. what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation. Okay. Well, that's easy. Body. That's the the dolly, right? It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. And maybe the tarp. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Sure. Um. <laughs> I would say, well, well, what do the descriptions actually say? Tarp's family prosperity is currently used to move him in order to, yeah, okay. What does it say about this thing? Oh, this is how many he's rediscovered. Okay, in that case, maybe it's the tarp. I got it. Yeah, here we go. Now you're thinking what, with the portals or something. Portals in time. Oh, two things, huh? I got it. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? Okay. What's with the aptitude? So let's see if I can explain. Go for it, Makoto. Makoto. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository. Yeah. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? Mm -hmm. It was the same tarp that, up until then, was stored in the equipment. Whoa. Room. That's right. Okay. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. It was like, oh hey, there's a tarp. Let's use it to move this body. That way, they wouldn't leave any blood stains while they were moving it. Does that even really matter though? Like, okay, he's already dead. I mean, blood the stains. And the dolly? Somewhere. Same thing. Yeah. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. Mm -hmm. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Yes, it did. And there were tire Later, tracks. When Taka's body reappeared in the repository, the dolly was there. So did the doll. Yes. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body. Am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Am I sure? Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That hmm. dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. Yeah. So very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not yeah. possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's um, raised an objection. How do you respond? Objection? There is no I'll shame respond with an objection of my own. Much from you Dude, don't you, you you don't start condescending to my Yes! Well, I know. I'm dumb, so what are you gonna do about it? Never had anyone sound so nice while we took me. Okay, if I explain to them why the dolly must have been moved. Um. Oh, well, oh god. Oh god, what? What are we doing here? Let's talk about reloading. Oh, what? Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. Great. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's things, but now... Ah, okay. Oh. So then you're just screwed, huh? Oh, you can reload by pressing tab, okay. Just like locking on, you'll have to press the tab to get time. Ooh. Secretly, just remember that the tab key now has a function. Okay. Fever time. Wait, wait, are we doing. Whoa, what? Um. Are we doing one of those right now? 
Put my finger on that tab key. Oh my god! Okay, um... You had it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So finished! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! Away with you! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! Oh, yes, it's up! You are a fool! Lies will get you nowhere! Okay! Do your worst! Wretch. So it only reloads one. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So oh, I know, I know. Oh, I'm, I'm out. What am I doing? Nowhere. Do your worst. I win with you. Better. You need to have a house. Better house house. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Life will get you nowhere. Oh, goodness. I cannot agree. This should prove it. This should prove it. Oh my god. So we're gonna be doing those all through the sound. Jesus Christ. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. <laughs> I didn't when I found the dolly in the repository. Yeah, duh, that's right. Just the blood, blood the wheel, the doors. Dog. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire marker that matched the dolly wheel's tread. Yes, you did. The killer yes, you did. The dolly threw the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room, and as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. Right, yo. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Oh, all that to present a wheel. I know exactly. Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Well, what? Yeah. The subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? I'm not it's a robot sure of that justice, really maybe. Matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. Mm. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. Okay, um. Oh, well, probably because they couldn't, like, move around in it, right? Just, uh... Okay, what is where we're looking at? I'm gonna check something there and make sure. So I know, I know what I'm... I know I'm gonna be able to be able to be able to be able to see their feet or bend at the waist. Yeah. Boom. Hi. Yo. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, no, it yeah. doesn't. But even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. Boom! That's all. Oh, I got pretty the sure, sorry. No problem. So the killer just crouched down. And no. The body off to the repository. If nope. You accept everything we just said, then you must realize that whoever was in the suit couldn't possibly be the culprit. Uh, sorry, I, I don't think I realize anything. You sure don't, sir. All right. As we know, Taco and from there. <laughs> Dr. Bendover, see me in my office. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. Mm -hmm. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together, remember? Flashback! <laughs> When you're in that suit, uh, uh, uh. not only can you not see your feet, but you, you can't can even bend at the waist. waist. You never get any exercise. Am I right about that? Now that you just sweat a lot. Yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing Yeah, how about that? When you can't even see your feet, 
You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? I don't know. Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. <laughs> On top of that, you are wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit. It's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Yeah, I know you couldn't do this. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? Oh, um... Because, uh, you can take it off by yourself. I got I don't think taking off the suit was an option. If you rem so far, so good. <laughs> well, what's up with this thing that I can't actually get it off? Yeah, exactly. I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. Piece of shit. Flats on the back, yeah. That's right. Well, that too. Well, even if there wasn't a clasp on the back, I mean, it was pretty hard to take that off. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. That's why you need to get a suit like Samus, you know, where you just close your eyes and imagine it. Hero wasn't just making it up? Of course I wasn't making it up. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. That's true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, okay, so are we friends now? Really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? I'm I'm not no, sure. Wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture? Okay, that okay, you? good. I, I was wondering when we were gonna get there. This has been bothering. You all me. got a good look at it, did you not? The oh, image whoa. Of me being dragged away by Robo Justice? If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Wait a minute. Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? What did he say? He said. That guy hit me. Robo Justice! <laughs> That's what I decided to call him just now. So long as those facts um, exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. No, no, we're, we are far from the proper the conclusion here, guys. Jeez, hero, we... Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be right. Hold on a second! It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Yeah, Besides, I don't care. there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every right, single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Um, Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe okay, let me snick it. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our Man, lives I laugh are on every the time line. She talks. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Yeah, yes, I wouldn't mind hearing we'll this get over. to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. All right then, let's take another look. Kyoko back at what is to this case as Phoenix Wright is to Apollo I suppose Justice. we can start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Okay. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up, so we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. The picture, though, as soon as we of them up, smiling. Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste Don't think in the about that right room now. and quickly came to get Makoto and me. Okay, yes. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. Alright. That was when we Shoot. saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange that's costume. That's true, then... As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. Is, it I think Hifumi is actually carrying Robo Justice, not the other Robo way around. Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. Okay. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. That we did. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. Uh oh. 
What's wrong? That's right. When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. Okay, and soon we did. after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor, and I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. He's like, that's a real intense scream for someone like you, I know. And then... At that point, we oh, decided man. to divide up into two groups. I don't groups. believe it. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. That's right, us girly people went back there. While Sakura, while the mighty ones went after the after suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi dead. And that's yeah, when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Okay, and while you were gone, they went to the bathroom and then the body. Meanwhile, was... we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Mm -hmm. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. Okay. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. Then it was gone. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. Yeah, because you had to go to the bathroom. Back to the nurse's office and You'll probably hate bathrooms right. for the rest of your life. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room. Oh, so God, there's Toko, again. too. <laughs> but when we got there, we discovered that now yeah, Taka's, Taka's body, body had also gone, gone missing. missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And a and third one that had two time, minds. Celeste informed us that she found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Which is where we rediscovered the corpses. Boy, oh boy. I think that about covers it. Okay, it's good to have that recap the again there. sounds exceptionally complicated. <laughs> it certainly yeah. seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. No, definitely okay, not. Well, if that's true, then what? Somebody Rather didn't want us to see something. Of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. Okay. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Sounds good. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. Alright. That Taka is even more mysterious than Fumi's is, though. Who in the world would want to kill Taka? I mean, I don't know. It's not about wanting to kill him, though. Monokuma file number three, baby. Alright. Real quick here. The victims were Hifumi and Taka. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head, and thought they were both killed with a similar weapon. Very well. Oh. I wonder if he died before Hifumi. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because, say because they found them. Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. A swing! So it's obvious Taka came after! Well. Um... Yeah, I know. So, regarding Taka's well. death, I wonder if he died before Hifumi, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were choosing. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. Now it's true that, that white noise is so distracting. Like, oh my god. 
while Becca's death came from a strain of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Papa came after. Okay, hang on, I need to start that over. Well, we're, we're gonna start over anyway. So, regarding Taka's death, I kind of get a feeling that maybe this might be one of those where... Him. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the yeah. Justice Hammers. It's true, true that he fully was killed with Justice White noise on that one, isn't it? While Taco's death came from a swing of Justice oh, White. White noise. White noise is like the little purple words that are trying to distract you as you go through it. Justice Hammer is word number. Well, that's. Are we Taco's sure? I'm gonna try something. Or perhaps it was after? I'm not sure which one, though. It might be the We first already one. know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. Found them in that order. Why you say that? Because of the numbering of the right Justice here. Hammers. Okay. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. Uh -huh. While Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was doing with that. Okay, it does keep it after you go to the next one. Baron was telling me that yesterday. Thank you. I stopped trying to commentate for the time as I do this. Um, there's only two. That is the only other one here, right? And that is the only other one. It's the numbering. I was thinking there was like another one after it that I was supposed to hit, but. I'm not sure. I wonder if he died before he didn't. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed. What the hell? Let's, oh shoot. No, it's wrong. Are you serious? Because you're. I don't know how to explain There's what no I'm. Reason to assume maybe they can the explain it better than I can. The same order as their numbers. Yeah, well, that's one thing. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order? That too. But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then. I mean, that could be the case, but... It's funny how they can put your thought. I mean, like, I don't know. They, they explain it better than I could. There's something about what relates to what time you must have died. Oh, we got a hangman's gambit, huh? Okay, um... Wristwatch? Yeah, I played Wheel of Fortune, I know how to do this. I, where's the I? Boom. S. W. Uh, A. C. H. Mario the Cougar. Oh. Now I understand. Okay. This is actually going not too bad so far. Oh my god. I got it. Pop this Pop wristwatch. wristwatch. Mm -hmm. See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night. It was working fine because it was ten o'clock and all that shit. Almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the boys and girls. So if it wasn't broken after 6 last night, then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. There you go. Boom. And that would be his official time of death. Okay, well that, that's true. But if that's true, then he was killed well before he threw there. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. Wow. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. So he was lying there dead all that time while all this other shit was going on. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. Yeah, okay, that's fine, but what does that mean? Like, that's exactly that why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. Yeah. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we easily make that wrong assumption. Okay. Now, 
Intel get that. Was killed around six. Then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Sure enough, they do. when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. Oh no! That may be true. And that means you could have done it too. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. Okay. That's right. Then we should one at a time here. At least we're all safe. Unga. <laughs> what was that? When we heard hmm. Fumi screaming, we were all together, except for Hiro and Kyoko. No. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. See, every single time, man. recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. <laughs> tape or something? True. Where's the tape? Who uses tapes oh, no. anymore? Don't just go making stuff up. Right here. Anyway, we all oh, sorry, I didn't mean to throw that. For when we heard Hifumi scream. Yeah, we Since do. All of us were there together, Rock hard as your muscles. None of us could have killed him. And he does okay. not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office. You were in the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. You know, in the bathroom. Was in Ding. The room, correct? And yeah, then but. There's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment. Taka's body. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Jeez. Well, yeah, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, yes, you were. Hey, what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Uh. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Taka's <laughs> body. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Well, maybe hey, when I she's her other personality, anything. she's also... Wakes up to be the other person and goes back to sleep to go back to being the first person. Or move either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. So they most certainly could have done those things. So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. I guess so. So instead of who. I propose we start talking about how. Okay, there we go. In that sounds particular, great. I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. Man, she's That's smart. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. Body all. And according Stand to what Celeste said. September. It's almost September. Yeah. No. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off. Well, he off. wasn't dead yet, though. Cause... But to carry I think he just got up and walked out. That's first what I floor yeah. up to the third in that short amount of time? Oh, man, yeah. There's no way. It's impossible. Well, impossible. What impossible. If I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What? How? <laughs> if the dead body. To move. Oh! <laughs> the, the yeah! Move I'm not recording power? shit! Okay, you know what? No! Not another. I don't think wow, that has terrible. anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is. Yeah, this music is good. Fumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was. alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. No, he... Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That... it isn't possible. Uh-oh. Okay, it's still on. It's really possible. Uh-oh, here we go again. Is that a flush? I heard a flush. Broken wristwatch? Alright. Um, here. Are 
are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the- Okay, first go to F1, and then we'll all tab and see who that flush was. And it's already scrolled off on Twitch, so let me look over here. Laughing Boy LP has been subscribed for eight months. Oh, streaming on a Saturday, you know it. That's right, just finishing up the, um, Tang and Rampa trial that I couldn't finish last night. Today really August 27th. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh, shoot, what was that thing? Broken wristwatch, okay. Broken wristwatch! I don't realize that there were talking wristwatch, bro. It's going to be just past the six. It's firm that it will last night, but it still work, which means it doesn't broke any time. Gotcha. <laughs> There's a chance he was actually Wait, still alive. Is that the only board I have? No. It is impossible. Yeah, I need to pay him. Hifumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. I, I got confused at the beginning about only having the one pull. I have one pull. So I was trying to figure out how to switch pulls, but I think I only have just the one. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office... I missed office, the line here at the beginning. There's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that okay. how? Well, let's say he wasn't. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Okay. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Ooh. Okay. Um, Are you saying that when I think we have another one where I have to absorb the something here. Office? Because the broken wrist rot has nothing to do with it. He was actually still alive. No. He was actually still alive. It is impossible. He for me was dead. Without a doubt. And you know I think that it's how? either... There's a second and a third. Heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. He for me's dead body had been found. And that is Oops. why the announcement was made. It's either this on the last one or the last one on the second one. Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Ooh, maybe not. Okay. I think I have it backwards. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, oh no, not again. Alright, alright. Let me think of the Okay, let's see. Is why the announcement was... Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Someone else's discovery. Actually, now that I think about it, that would probably be... Well, I don't know. Okay. Are you saying that when into we the first found Hifumi and there's a chance <laughs> he was actually... No. It is I don't see a problem with the still alive thing, because I think that's where we're going anyway. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. There we go. No. Boom. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. Mm -hmm. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's nope. a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. Very possible. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. Okay. First of all, if there wouldn't have been an announcement for Hifumi if he was still alive. There really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and <laughs> them together. Monokuma lazy? I don't know about What that. do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Any comment? Well, it's a fair 
very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer a question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. Yeah. No, actually, that was plenty. <laughs> huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means... Even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. True. If that's true, then oh, why God, is the so announcement confusing. made again later on? Because that's when to think about. Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. We did. First time I played the kind of question. There was a lot of Second time was when when they were uh, rediscovered, because that's when Boom died. I got it. Boom yeah. We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered. One thing at a time here. One thing at a time. How you gotta do this though? Ding dong. A body. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually discovered for the first time. Yeah, baby. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Nope. Meaning he cleaned he off his own glasses. Dead until we oh. came upon him in the repository, and that's just part of it. Burp and everything, I tell you. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, oh, oh I know, I know! Because he was super good at playing dead! Bada bing, bada boo! <laughs> that is the worst logic I have ever heard. Oh, had. boy. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Glasses. Okay, then. Let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Okay. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. Find out. Yes, indeed. You're arguing. Please give me the glasses. There you go. The glasses. Yeah. I don't even have a look at this. <laughs> like the well, here's one thing we do. The first time we found Hikuli's body was in the nursery. Listen to watch. And then. While me and Celeste were in the bathroom, we're in the bathroom. His body disappeared. His body. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. In the he repository. His body before being moved, and his body after being moved. Here it comes. Other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. Bingo, that's it right there. Then, was he really still alive? Of course not. It is impossible. This is ridiculous. I'm feeling a little bad for Celeste right now. I don't want... I don't want it to be her, but there... Well, here's one thing it might be. The first time we found him... There's a lot of white noise in here, though, so... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Boom. Take it. That one was easy, though. Fun fact, Tokyo's VA has a Twitch account. In fact, really? There was one clear difference between Hifumi and the I'm nurse's going there and ask her the repository. Yeah. His glasses. Yup. That fact alone is that he was only playing. Wish I had some glasses in here right now and I put them on. Perhaps you'd like to feel the Maybe I could draw me? some on. Sure, yeah, I'll fill you in. I'll when fill you in. Hifumi anything. in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Mm -hmm. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. Yep. They're gonna say, how do you do it? We'll say the claw. I found the item he used to wipe Ah, out. there you go. Yep. Here we go. Um. Glasses cleaning cloth. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. Nice. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clean. 
This piece of cloth was used to wipe Yifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same know. one that's on the digital camera, right? There's that too. Yifumi's digital camera was it? The Fumi, of course. course. But what are you saying? Princess Piggles. From Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess, I think. <laughs> I highly doubt anyone but Yifumi would have brought something like this to school. Yeah, he hit it for us for a long while. And the only people here who wear glasses are... Uh, a lot of us do. Caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage oh. Like oh, Toko wears glasses too. Yeah. all I need to keep my glasses clean. <laughs> and there's no question. It belongs to you, food. Chihiro wears glasses too. <laughs> Wait, no she doesn't. Oh, so what you're saying is... So sweet. She doesn't wear exactly. What I'm saying is... The blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning His own cloth. glasses cleaning cure. Even if that is true, he does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. Uh... Well, yes, who would not. benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? Ah, uh, yeah, that's true too. You guys are so much better at arguing than I am. So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. Still alive. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Okay. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And when his own two fat feet. The impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes, becomes possible, possible, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead, what was with all that blood? Was it pain or something? Um, I'm not sure about the that. The in the nurse's office contains packs of blood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. One of those. God, you're so smart. He figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. <laughs> Fumi was still alive at that point. The disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. Fumi. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Nope. The one who moved Taka's body was Taka, so he was still alive too. I got it. Jeez. Oh my God. They're actually making this easier than I thought they were going to. In the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. Did. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. Or maybe I'm just my brain is on a better place. I know on the last trial I'd already been streaming for like four or five hours. Y'all went looking for them, right? Maybe that's why I was so shitty about it. me and Sakura heading for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. Oh, that stupid locked door. The repository door can only be locked from the inside. Mm -hmm. Which means. When Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could yep. only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. Oh, and he probably had to wait there. He convinced of us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. But he needed someone so, to distract. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. Oh my god. But that means he took part in the murders. I just can't believe it. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can show me anything. There's more? There's more. Oh, There's absolutely. a lot more. <laughs> the single Probably. biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body? The item. The item. Oh, the note, the note, right? Um, let's see. Where is it? Here we go. The note. I just. Yeah, the rest of it is. You're here. talking about the note he had hidden away, aren't you? Hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. Oh, God. What? They didn't get it because you put it in your shorts. Now dish it up. Yes. His, his pants. pants. Okay, well, forget about the pants. <laughs> Take a look at what the Forget about says. the pants, Bernie. Now the hole they need to use to escape. Oh, 
That's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Okay. Wait. This one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. I see. Then this note isn't the same one hero. I had a feeling. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hira. And that person could only have been... The Fooey's pants. Me? What? No. It's... <laughs> well, by process of elimination here, I don't know. I got it. That's the right. Fooey's pants. Taka. You gotta be the killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Mm-hmm. It's me at six. Over here! Objection! Objection! I don't really understand what's going on, but King Boomy had that letter, right? Mm hmm So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok, they were drawing out Happy! <laughs> um... No. Just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Happy is Boomy, right? Yeah. Oh, yes! Why must you ruin it every time? I don't know, I'm... <laughs> Maybe scary, but he's extreme, or she's extremely cool, too. Oh, here we go again. Okay, now we got the bullets. Uh, broken wrist rod. Broken wrist watch. Let me move my mic here. Okay, uh... Puffy. But remember what the note says. Note what well, which been note been? are we talking about here? 6 a.m. That one. Yeah. The time doesn't matter! Yeah, actually, it does. It has nothing to do with TikTok! Okay, there we go. Okay, which one, though? I can't believe I'm looking at this again. I can see how it's... Oh, mouse wheel. Duh! Mm. Alright, so, uh... Yeah. Puppy had the note, right? Then the person it was intended for. Must have been wrist, happy. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, maybe right. Broken wristwatch, because that what tells us the time. Say to me? Six a.m. Mm -hmm. The time doesn't matter. Yes, it does. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. Go, 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 go! Yes, thank you. Ho, ho! Almost missed that one. Jeez. Uh. No, there absolutely is a connection. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Edgy poo. The note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was murdered. Mm -hmm. We've already proven that using his wristwatch. That's right. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Yep. Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So, I'll do it. Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Damn. Well, we like, who needs $10 million? Just tell him you found a way to escape. I don't get him going. Then someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. But you've got away with your awesome hair. The culprit really is a cold blooded monster. Children with their food way up. <laughs> I like it. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hembumi doing with it? Shut down his pants, no part. less. Mm hmm. Most likely. Well, he must have been trying to hide it. He stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. He stole it? Yeah, here's yeah. evidence. Go ahead, show us. Oh, no, not again. Proof that Hifumi stole the note from Taka. Okay. Well, because he had his aunt jaw. Oh my god. Right here. I got it. He had the rest of it in his hand. When I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small strap of tape. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi. There you go. Then Taka's scrap. And the is no. Yo, one and the same. From the same piece of paper. 
cut from the same the mold. Had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. Ooh. There's only one way to explain it. Taka died clutching the note. Ifumi tried to free the note from his death grip. He also tried to free his grip from the Being death note. Oh! One small See what I did there? Did I get all that right? Yep. That means Ifumi knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Damn! After seeing all this, Ifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact. Well. He was behind the whole thing! In fact, he's still alive! What?! He can still be alive! Jeez, man. I was with you until you got the When we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The second Every final ounce discovery of announcement proves that. Mm -hmm. So then, who killed Hifumi? Oh, that's the big question. The, mastermind, the true killer. He was killed in the repository, so he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. So, he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, but before we found both bodies in the repository. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. confusing part. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. That's the tricky part. But me and Sapporo were together. Yeah, you were in the bathroom. Like you stupid walrus. What? Who are you calling a walrus? Um. Anyway, when they were killed, anyways, bothers me too. You. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. Okay. What's and that? what might that be? The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon. What about it? Is yeah. that hammer? Because I mean. According to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. But just as Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? So if Hifumi yeah. was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, then put the hammer back where they found it. But, wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? I'm surprised. Well... It seems there's some semblance of a brain knocking around that skull of yours <laughs> after all. Well, that's good to know. Hell yeah! It's packed in there good! <laughs> yeah, don't even... He's don't even. right, though. I don't understand it, either. Well, that must have the something Monokuma to do with file them. makes it clear that they were killed using similar instrument, but if the hammers were already yeah. laying around those oh! other rooms... So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Well... Personally, I haven't a clue. You definitely so don't, too. hammer was used to attack Celeste. Number one or number two? Those were uh. accounted for in other rooms, too. There's and too I don't many think hammers. One is big enough to kill someone. Um. Yeah. Then. And it didn't work. Uh, is it not possible they used a different weapon? I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? Thanks, Redmaster. That's the sweet of you. So then, what was used to kill Hifumi? Uh, a hammer. <laughs> it's gotta be a hammer. Um, guess so. Mm. My coke is warm. Stop! Hammer time! Hammer time! Hup, hup, hup. Was, to kill was it Justice Hammer Three? Maybe Justice Hammer Four? Well, whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about to make his appearance! Justice Hammer 5. What? Oh, I'm totally going there. The murder weapon had to be one of the Justice Hammers. And, uh... That's about it. Oh, the Justice Hammer. 
Do I need to look at? I might want to check out what it says about the spot and hammer. What was used to kill Ifumi? Um, was it an F1? Spotless Hammer is one of the justest hammer. I guess. I mean, what constitutes a justice hammer anyway? It just wasn't inside the ball, really. Maybe Justice Hammer 4. Well, <laughs> whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the conflict able to move around so freely with the weather? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Oh my god. Well, one thing seems pretty clear. Murdergear.com slash hammer. The murder weapon had to be one of the justice hammers. It's and either this one uh, or the one after. That's about it. Oh, there's not one after. Oh, shoot. Okay, um, in that case. What was used was it just <laughs> 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 The murder weapon has to be one of the Bam. Ooh. The murder weapon wasn't a justice hammer at all. No. It was something. No, because the justice different. hammers are all decorated with But seriously? A different weapon? Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill the food. Oops. Now, all the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris. Nice. Some vocabulary. One of them had been <laughs> scrubbed clean. Oh! Uh -huh. And the reason it had been scrubbed clean was most likely because it was used to commit murder. If the hammer got covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. I'd also like to point out that the repository has all kinds of hammers. Big well, ones, small, small ones. ones, and even some flat mallet-like ones. Dude. I think mallet whoever like. made the Justice Hammers used those as a basis for their design. Okay, well, yeah. Sure, sure thing. If that's true, right, that Robert. would explain the Monokuma Files note about the wounds being similar. That website isn't real? Oh, sorry. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository, where someone then used a hammer to kill him. And he never did that with the true killer. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold on a moment. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. Yeah, because yeah, you spare him the punishment. Works. There is no benefit to helping someone else carry out a murder. Yeah. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is so ridiculous. <laughs> okay. not... not that you really think that that's a problem. There would be a reason for anyone to work together, of course. That's what I thought of first, but... Question. That was the best, 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 that was the best. Spotless camera, Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can... Hang on, I'm gonna go refresh my drink. I'm not gonna bother with the intermission screen, because I'll be back in like two minutes here. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I think that might have been a little longer than two minutes there, but, uh, anyway. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so he gave me spotless hammer. That's weird. Assuming the rule holds I need to start this over. That is, but that only really a few case, however, there were two. Yes, they ran, they ran, they ran, they were. I should have Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, Okay. Even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, yeah. only the one who actually carry out the act can graduate and survive. That's very true. Seeing the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. Yeah. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there is one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Yeah, there were.
know. Okay, I think I have to. Uh, this is another absorb one. There's no way the hammer has anything to do with this. Only the one who actually carry out the act can graduate and survive. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that no. two people work together. That is, but that's not only really up in this case, however. Oh shoot! No, 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 no! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! I got it. I think it's because of that uh, that ability that I went that I actually got that this time. I will lay down for us because everyone wanted to look at the mirror when I said I was going to do that. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Since there were two murders, it's at least plausible that only one person was involved. What do you mean? Yeah, I knew it wasn't the hammer, so... If only one murder, then yes. The idea of an accomplice isn't really worth considering. Yeah. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. Mm -hmm. Risk versus reward benefit? <laughs> the payoff for working together. The reward that balances out the risk of taking part in the scheme. There's no point in being someone's accomplice if there's no benefit to you. Yeah, I mean, you don't even get paid nothing. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, like $10 then the operation becomes possible. Uh, You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. Oh. I think that's what the true killer told the Boomy. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. And based on the case's events, the Fumi would have been the first one to act, murdering Taka. They made him carry out the first murder so he couldn't back out of helping them later on. So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. Okay. And it only looked like a because that's how the true killer designed it to look. Okay. A single suspicious individual, a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies. By creating one seamless set of circumstances, they made it look like one person was behind it all. The mastermind picked their target and managed to convince him to go along with their plan. And then, to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. Damn. Which, if true, means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very beginning. Yeah. Oh, that's just awful! How could anyone be so cruel? How so, could I can't people be so cruel? Still, their choice of accomplice seems... odd. Well, they had to get someone who was gullible, you know? So gullible to fly. Got the place there, I'm not here for fly. Yeah, she did. Which is why she said not only this is a series of things. It's entirely separate incidents. Alright. Trash. <laughs> so I'm telling you, man. I understand how an accomplice could be involved. But then, who was the one pulling him oh my gosh. the strings? Oh, never mind. No. That's problem numero uno right now! Where Kyoko is the spy? Because she's gonna turn on Monokuma. And help us instead. Consider all that. Will I be playing Danganronpa 2? Hell yeah! Man, if this even happens as good as this, I definitely still want to play. Oh, what? from about halfway in. But, is that necessary? Shoot, I only got a minute. I'm gonna... 
Here's my answer. It was Celeste. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. Me too. A joke? I wonder. You wonder, yeah. So what you are saying, Fucking then, wonder, Scott, is that going. I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. Well, you were in the... Well. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him... ...that I would go within ten feet of that shit Whoa! crazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Okay, tornado hair. Take it easy. Uh, uh, Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. There is. I mean, it's so... More like circumstantial, but... Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of them. Oh, bring it on. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. Prepare for some of the best voice acting from Celeste. I was about to say, I was like, Oh, um... Oh, the, the screaming. Yeah, there was the screaming, wasn't there? Um... Cause he, he kept saying, uh, that's a weird scream for you, okay. It's true though, but they did a lot of screams, probably. Oh, was that wrong? Shoot. Oh, I, uh, prematurely ejaculated, sorry about that. Okay, um... Well, they both... Between and Celeste. Both encountered this situation. Yeah. It's the paper. It's not the paper, it's... The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual Duh. in the suit, doesn't it? Look <laughs> that emo, man. It's so, like, the vivid. The only ones who ever exactly actually saw doing. Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and he fooled me. Shush. The adults are talking now. DUDE! Sorry. As what? he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. That's right. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Yep. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? Yep. And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? She said she saw a shadow. Boom. So I'm moving around to the top of the stairs, uh -huh. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Uh, and a feeling Next, too. To draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor. She screamed at me and she farted out a blood curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? <laughs> a tenth scream for someone like you. See that right there when she said she was blocking the stairs. Why would that stop him from going whatever way he was? Once about she'd to go? done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. Yeah, while well, we were all distracted, he moved the body. What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been the Illuminati. They're in the nurse's office. Oh no. It was to get us to divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In both fact, dummies. Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Uh-oh. It's bad for you, Celeste. I'll get the hunting party. <laughs> yes, you will. And us girly people go to the nurse's office, yeah. While the mighty ones go after well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. Yeah. <laughs> that was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? Oh. It was your way of telling him, we're on the third floor, everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? I just realized another strange thing. More. When There's we found more. Fumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. Mm -hmm. 
Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I... I don't believe it! Everything... The whole thing was one big act! That look of betrayal. You were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah, they were in the bathroom! Yeah? I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Wait! Then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together... That's and exactly what this entire case, that line right there, is just... Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? Yeah. I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. Do we have a flush? A lot of bells there. <laughs> It's probably because I farted. I didn't even or no, it's because I said it was when you first said it. But mm -hmm. looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. Uh oh. I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. Oh my god, there's no way she could have known about the other guy. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about Oh, I'm holding on to my glass of water because the world is spinning right now. and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Mm -hmm. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Nope. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. She could have put it on YouTube. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Can you repeat what you said? Uh-oh. If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? I feel like... Uh, I, mean, I was suspecting her too, so yeah, but it's like still pretty early here, isn't it? Oh no, we have to do this again? Oh my god. Hi there. Monokuma file number three. Mumbo number five. All I said was, they must really be enjoying this. Okay, hang on. Um, on the desperate club, I think that's how they look good. Send them before them. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die, just like those guys died. And that is all I say. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Take the rest of that. They must really enjoy it. We're going to die, just like those guys died. Oh, wait, 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 Okay. Okay, um, yes. And I can't change my bullet here, so. Oh, wait, wait. Enjoying the sight of us standing around. Right, you're confused. Well, it is being awful quiet tonight, isn't it? No, that's wrong. <laughs> We are going to die, just like those guys died. And Maybe this is another absorb. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? So strange indeed. Oh. All okay. it said was. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be probably related. 
We are all going to die here. That's pretty much true. We are all going to die here. Just like those guys died. Just like died. those guys died. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Okay, actually. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Or what she said? All I said was. Okay, hang on. They really be enjoying the sight of us. They must be we are all going to die here. We are going to die. This is the problem, like but what I need to do is and say that this is what's up strange. Oh! Okay, maybe not. Don't expect me to do the worst for you. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Did I get a backwards move? All I said was, they must really Maybe I did. Maybe I should so strange at those guys. The size of us standing over must be all going. We are going to die. And that is all. And that's all it takes to finish. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Maybe I just had a fast backwards. Maybe I did have a fast backwards. All I said, they must really enjoying the size of us. They must be We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Boom, right there. Like the there we go. Okay, no, alright. Gotta get my semantics straight here. You know. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys die. Just like those. When she said that, none of us had told her Taco was dead. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after. But as we told her. Yeah, no home. kidding, exactly. Objection. There was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know, indeed? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? And don't tell me about no updated autopsy because report Yoko now. Had also Whoa! Right? Have, I, so have she we ever seen this? Too. such vivid imaginations. You know that? Oh no. Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Mm. Then what about well. the picture I took? Okay, let's talk about that. How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging you for me away? It's just one of them things, you know? Got a setup, right? So let's put the suit on, and then, then she used the camera's timer to, to set up the picture. Have you said you have forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Yup. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is the picture of Hifumi being dragged Sail! If everything I told you was a lie, Sail. how can this picture exist? Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging no. Hifumi away? Absolutely what not. What do we mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. Yeah, there is. If we and the suspect had been drinking, if we and the suspect are dancing, wonderful. I, I would say this, but I don't feel like there's gonna be any funny dialogue to go with it. Besides, it's not a picture of the suspect Back to lurking and cleaning. <laughs> I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. Yeah. That she almost said K head. It's not there for the realm of possibility. Oh yeah. The one I don't even think the robot's feet are touching the ground there. Room, but the person in the robot suit. I don't think anybody's in this. Oh wait, no, no, he is. Because he, he ended up in the locker. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw Maybe. someone wearing something like that in this situation, 
Of course you'd notice and be suspicious. No, I'd have to take a picture too. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Such a thing. Okay, Monks will not play Fallout New Vegas. He who he was dragging him away? Ridiculous. Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Uh oh. Bang and dance. <laughs> and allow me to educate you. Ah, you can educate me. Go for it. Oh no, I gotta make another argument. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. Oh boy, we got bullets. We have a lot of bullets here. We got the costume, the prince. You dressed me up in that this suit is after I passed out. <laughs> then you just bring me across and threw me and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. Okay. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Then the fortune telling idiot is the Well, even if they were unconscious, like, they couldn't no bend over either. Sort of the thing. Yeah, they could bend it away. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, um... Oops, I need to turn it around. Okay. Roll over. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. I'm drawing infinity around your boobs. Your boobs. Your boobs. There's no way they could stand up straight like this. Damn. No, it's wrong. Right. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. They wouldn't have a choice. Because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. Uh -huh. That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. Yeah. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. Oh, that thing was a coffin. Was what it was. From the beginning to be used the way it was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who took the suit they specially designed and stuffed his stuffed his ass into it? What they did. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. And the point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose it's like the Okan, but upside, upside down. <laughs> Sideways. Don't make me laugh, you idiot. What do you mean, checkmate? Whoa. Celeste? Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box, but there's one little problem. Uh oh. Have you already forgotten what Kifumi told us as he lay dying? Yeah, he said he wrote it, but he was in on it. <laughs> I remember the name. Justin Beetle. So even in his dying breath, he tried to save him. Who had attacked him? His answer was quite clear. Because he had a hard on for you, probably. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. Get on the horn! Yasuhiro, hack out the way! But my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually Taro. Your confusing Taro. statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. Okay, um... He did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Um... Boom! Oh, he's gotta be kidding me. That's right, our last name. He calls us by our last mother name. 
I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi mm -hmm. once, for example. Yup. So if Kifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said, said his last name. name. I'm not correct. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just... his first name. Man. Don't talk. Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? We're no. serious. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. Well, he was dying, I don't know. But he must Still. have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Fumi was trying to piece of the last shit. <laughs> of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Oh, uh, is no. my name again? Hold on. There's one person who could name, like, apply to, and that's thing Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. Oh, God. <sighs> what did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusations well, She hadn't so told us her real name, and then he wouldn't know it either, right? Or spit! Come Whoa. on! Enough with your idiotic blather! Yasuhiro is a loser's name! Do I look like a loser to you? Well... Do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then Millicent, what's your real name? It's Burke. Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My good name is Celestia Lutherford. That's what it is, yeah. Would you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Man. Do something to make her accept it. We're gonna go into this final battle. Yeah, oh man, that, that battle thing. I can't believe they threw one of those at me early on. But... Huh. The Fumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. Okay. If there's one person here who might have that last name, it would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? Mm -hmm. Celeste, you're loaded for God damn it! <laughs> How long do you plan to go on pretending? I love it when Master yells at people. It's the truth! And since you have no way to contradict me, that's the only truth there is! You know what? I think I know what it is. Because they told us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Don't make it too. They told us this was gonna come up. Or maybe. But they mentioned something about eat hand books. Isn't that oh no no no, no it's a male screen silly. Like... Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name, it would have to be you, Celeste. Just look at your handbook, we'll find out the truth. How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's Master. Is he calling and Biaku yet? You have no way to contradict me. Smooth. Stupid, stupid, stupid. The handbook. <laughs> what? What? Every time you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Yeah, when it boots up, you know, the snacks boots. told us all about it before. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? Please. Yeah. Just tell us. Maybe we'll take some Even pity on when you. When I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because. 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 I'm turning games over. You never know what might happen. No, that's for Fine. sure. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again. From the beginning. Oh, here we go. Comic book time. Your it's gonna be great. And that'll bring everything to an end. Do -do 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 -do. Boom! Do -do 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 -do. 
Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Prophecy, the wizard. Okay, um, rid of it. Act one. This is where they're playing it out. Junko or somebody on the poster right there. And, uh, in this case, how to kill up a crew their accomplice was a seduction. Uh, yeah, it was balls. That's what it was. Oops, don't do that. Hmm. How many do we have here? Okay, it starts in the middle. Alright. What in the world is going on there? Jeez. No, oh no. Why is this here? Good lord. This is a bloody poster, seriously. Uh, what does it say again? How do you go with your purpose? Was it seduction? Don't, I, I seriously doubt that. Well, there's like one here and then. What are you reaching out to do? I might come back to that one in a bit, but I'm not sure. It looks like they're reaching out, like maybe... Maybe they're shaking hands here? I figure it has to be, like, the Fumi in this. Well, we'll come back to that one in a second. I mean, at least that's the first one, so if we try to do it, it'll tell us right away. And then we have what time and the killers call everything to the rec room. And that would be uh, a little better. Knocked in there at one o'clock. And then they basically knocked him out. Who was it the killer summoned first? They summoned Shiva. No, just kidding. Just kidding. struggling to get the costume on. So they stuffed him inside, hair still sticking out the top, and just how in the world did they get that hair inside the helmet? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Chips here. <laughs> Good lord, man. I'm actually gonna come back to that one too. Uh, what time was talking to the city? Okay. That would be. Oops. Did it again. Number six. Okay. And then he whacked him upside the head. Oh my god, he was trying to go Super Saiyan, but it wasn't enough. He killed him, and he's like, ha ha ha. Like, oh my god, what did I do? What have I done? And then he passed out. Let's say really it's a foot top. Uh, what number was it? Oh god. Okay, hang on. Because we saw one and two, it's not the top of his first. But we found him second, and it's it's four, wasn't it? Let's say it's four. Okay, I get that. I'm trying to change my how do I oh it's four. So even though he was killed first, they wanted us to think he was killed second. Just going on the assumption here. For now. Well, I'm assuming he wasn't killed. Okay, and then this... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then she found the camera and showed me the picture. And then we went to the... Somewhere and... Found him and I'm wondering if we need something to fake the existence of a shadowy criminal. That was the, uh, the blood. Oh, wait. Hmm. 
Here's where he put the blood on so Yeah. Holy crap, look at that, man. Okay, here we go. This is three. And then we all found the body, and everybody was freaking out, and even Toko was worried. Wow, that's a weird... Never see her with, like, that kind of expression on her face. Oops, I keep... So anyway, at some point while we're distracted, he wakes up, puts the top on the roller, and something to move top of his body, that was the thing. Oh, mouse play. You forget so quickly, don't you? <clears throat> this is from case one right here. I don't even know if that's going Okay, so then he pushed the tarp. And he got there. But then the killer turned around and busted him off his poop and uh Regular hammer, because then I washed it off later. Okay, so now we've narrowed this down a little bit here. So I think we've kind of narrowed it down. Let me actually go back to the very beginning here, because I wasn't sure about this one. So pretty sure. Actually, you know what? Might be. Okay, because this one is saying, how do they seduce him? Might have done it with the potato chips. I can see it here in this picture. I know in the past, some of these are like red herrings and they match what's already in the picture. But it's a little bit bigger than it is in that picture. I'm going to actually try that instead. So then he met them in there and all this crap went down and he stuffed them into the thing and then he knocked them out and stuffed them into the ropes. And they stuffed up the tree. And then halfway up the chimney they got stuck. Stop making Grinch jokes here. Certain item. Yeah, they probably used the poster. Body, 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 poop, 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 poop. It's just like raining on your wedding day, I'm telling you. What if? I'm gonna technically um, here. There is a hair on my shoulder, and it's like driving me absolutely insane, man. Well, I'm curious what the backpack is all about. Okay, uh, oops. I don't like this switch. Oh, I keep forgetting I have to turn all that off with the mouse. Yeah, most of it was right. Bumpity bum 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 bum. Oh. Well. Just browse, browse, and inspecting comics, you know, I collect them. Why am I singing that stupid song right now? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, because. No, no, okay, they took the picture here. Da, 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 da. 
I saw the camera there. And I was like, oh, gosh. So that is when they took the picture. That's right there. Gosh. Anyway, so then once they got rid of him, then all they had to do was off the top down, which they did here. Even though he went Super Saiyan, it wasn't enough. Now we're going to just number four. Meanwhile, we were finding the pig and all that poop. So this was around 7 a.m. here. Just coming in and finding... <laughs> that picture is hilarious right there. Good board. Oh, that's right. Look at the nurse's office. And that was... Yes, yes. Okay. Too far ahead of myself here. Alright, I don't think that one was anything that So this was like Celeste showing us the picture and saying, oh, look what happened here. But then, wow. I don't, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to try it right there. I'm just going to see how this goes. Exactly what happened. Once we, it'll be easier to tell once we know which ones are right. Killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Boom. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, we did miss the first one. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to replace all the other ones. I wanted to put this one back where I had it before. The killer is... Otherwise, if those are those are wrong, then I'd definitely be way off. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Hmm. I was right the first time, yeah. They were shaking hands. He boomed. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible Possible schemes. Impossible as it may seem. So it won a crook! And that person was potato chips. <laughs> they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. Chicken dance. Chicken dance. Yep. Man, I stink. That someone they met with was Hero. The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. Yep. Next, <laughs> he coolly positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him. While the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. The assault. They did all this just Salted to create chips. evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. They did. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the, the pool room locker. locker so that that room would have some use in the game. 605. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. You want to play out, man. Who can blame it? And then, whack. I, I, I hope I get these and cameras right, because I tell you. Killed him. Making it the scene of the first murder. Okay. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was Diary of 4. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. Ghost Trick, I've been hearing a lot about that. I'm, I need to check that out, I guess. So, next they falsified two more assaults. This one I don't know. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. Yep. There, That's totally the not killers right wanted there. us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted okay. to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. Mm -hmm. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2, and an injured Hifu to sell us that story. With these two yeah. incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. A 
free conception that we was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. Indeed. He fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But no, screw it. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, so I can see that picture better now. It's like he is bleeding there. Wow, such a, like, awkward transition of music. Okay, maybe this is when we... Yeah, it's not the potato chips, I don't know for sure. Oops. Give me the crystal ball. Oh, man, the ball is probably just a number two. That happened. Here's exactly what happened. So, they used the backpack, they yeah. Like maybe it was Banjo's senses. backpack. Attacks, he just swung it around the in the air and did a double jump. To solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident thing. Yeah. yeah. While we did that, we left Kifumi alone in the nurse's office. This oh, was exactly what Kifumi was hoping for. That's right. Blood packet from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 went to town. In, in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. Mean Kid 434 is now playing Warframe. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. That's right. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. No. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. Uh oh. We left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Ifumi had the chance he was waiting. This is not actually as complicated as time, I thought. He snuck into the equipment room. It makes perfect sense when you put it all together. Oh, he must have been really sweat after that. Tarp and <laughs> used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. Taco. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But oh. even Mifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. <laughs> He's all dancing over there. Whoops. All dancing much longer. Their plan all along was to kill Mifumi. Their plan all along was to kill Mifumi. person who could betray them. Yep. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... True name? Deadbot! Why are we merging? Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, you lose. It's our 10 year anniversary. Right. Complete it! Finipede it. Lost? I lost? Yeah, you did. When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge. As if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, <laughs> no, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Oh, Taiko? wow. So, TKO. Accepted it. Now you're smiling all of a sudden. I'm the kind of person. Once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Nope, not interesting. Now it's just over. Oh, wow. So there's no final battle? Man, I need to go to the store. I'm going to have a lot of coins after this. No! Hit the brakes! 
Okay. Oh, a hundred, man, a hundred medals, just like that. Jeez. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or well, no. she's just going to embrace it. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? What are they going to do, Sawyer? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote. Okay. Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? A bee? That's what it's gonna be. Mm. R.I.P. Second Best Waifu. <laughs> Man. Well, here we go. <laughs> that pixelated ass. Mm, totally correct. The blacking this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was. Potato chips. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the laptop. Mm -hmm. Yep. Say what? Just a second. <laughs> totally out of the loop as usual. In other words, indeed. Oh. I see. <laughs> um, actually, what? Are you okay with this? Uh oh. <laughs> so then. For me, oh, um, as for me, what? What? Oh, man, Damnation. what is he? Jeez, See, what? yeah, well, if you need us, <laughs> oh. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Even I was. Most unfortunate. I played right into. That's a flush. Holy crap! He's made you his target. Let's see who that flush was. Cliffhanger. Ashigaru has resubscribed for eight months. Awesome sauce, dude. Thank you so much. Steeler Man 5 has also resubscribed for three months. And that was like 22 minutes ago. Oh my gosh. Get flushed on you guys. Holy crap. Also, Elis or donated $20. Hands, yes, not much to say tonight, but I thought I'd donate what I could. Thanks for all these years of enjoyment. Looking forward to hopefully meeting you at a convention. You bet your ass, man. If you ever meet, we'll have to do pizza or something. Hell, hell to the yeah. Uh... What? Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. That's right. Oh. Bastard, 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 bastard! Honestly. I swear I will save her! Actually. Oh, that's how it started. <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he's stolen and escape this dreadful school. <sighs> and 
with that. Mm -hmm. It was all done. <laughs> Um, Powered love, I tell you. I see. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Mm -hmm. Don't need no credit cards riding this train. Hmm. Also, he made the suit. Uh, but. <sighs> because, you <laughs> because you're stupid. Let's see. In that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity makes your best. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. <sighs> oh. Well. Poor Heedle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Up all right, that's some. So, in the end, <laughs> but of course, there would have been no point in my plan if I wanted to pretend to be dead when I'm dead itself. What the heck? <sighs> well, Man, that's a non issue. I simply did everything in my power. Don't be mean. I wonder about that. Why? Sure thing, game boss. Thank you. You Damn. little bitch. <laughs> Don't know why. This is fine. Honestly. It's a, a metaphorical killing. As for me. It's all for that dream. This is dream Isn't it wonderful? Oh. Not so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, why does that one look so much like the Octavia? Oh dear. Um This is fine. I don't know, man. <sighs> it's just I guess, I guess whatever. Uh, There is nothing to be done. Just the worst. Oh. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Such petty mode, yeah. What is this? Stuff her into a slot machine. Let's get it, everything we've got. I suppose when like the spinner goes around, there's any blood on it, you know. 
guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. Hope? What? What? Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. What well then... It? Is that your room key? Take care, everyone. It's Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. Maybe. Well, here we go, guys. Kick back and grab your popcorn and let's see what... What happens here. Here we go. Oops, she's smiling. All the way to the end, I suppose. I'm just gonna hang her. Oh my gosh, all the little bears cheering. Whoa, okay, uh... Be careful here. Know about this man. Drunken Zumba Trial 3. Who wants to be a Julianaire? I'm kidding. And off to the. Ooh, gross! Or just landed on her, squash her or something. Hmm. <laughs> it's just like that, it's over. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll tell ya. So let's kill my friend so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. For him to just come along and. You we just don't do? get it, you know. Let me out of here! You'll throw it in the trash as if you could just do that. Wow. Too bad. But yeah. What do you want from us? For information, here we go. What did you do to me? Ooh. Hey. What? Ooh, how exciting. Kyoko's not a guy too, is she? Cool if it was like John Locke, maybe she was in a wheelchair before, and he made it so she could walk or something. See, that would be cool. See ya later! See ya later. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. So... Oh, okay. Wait. Hmm. Hey. Indeed. I guess we better. Hey. 
what? Okay. So. Oh Come yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah, there is. What? <clears throat> what? Please let me go. Some of your arguing is just going to draw more attention to me. Do whatever you want. Well then. All right. Yeah, there's only a few of us Yo. left now. There's like six, maybe. We're totally gonna go together. Yes, make sure to save. Okay. I know it. Shall we go? All right, snake hair. Let's do this. So then. There it is. Ah, good to have you back. Ooh, that'll be good. Just a while longer. Okay. You. However. No. What? Well. Can I pause this? Because I really don't want to do this with a full bladder. I know, really. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Right. I'm peeing. In the background, in the back room. On the back stage. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And only. Who in the world does this? Let me tell you. E. Okay. Sound. <laughs> Oh, I know. Digging a hole, digging a hole. A pee! Alright. Okay, let's see. What are... What are we in for here? Okay. Oh, we waited for nighttime. Even better. Everything's better at night. Why am I going to this? When it did, I went into action. Okay, so like, the boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera. How do you know this? Oh my gosh, I can almost feel my heart beating. Oh wait, the bathrooms aren't locked, right? Oh, I'm in control. Dude, dude, seriously. Okay, um... W-A-S-E-D. Wait a second. Did I just go into the wrong bathroom? Oh my god, I totally did, didn't I? Yes, I agree. 
but I just... Oh, that... I didn't even... Oh, I thought that was like a... It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. It's a secret Kyoko told me that. Could it really be hidden here? She said it was way in the back in the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, as if I were being ganked in... Oh god. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Oh! It turned out... That wall was like a revolving door, and I made my way to the other side. Oh. Correct. Gotcha. This is the secret room. What's in here? Oh. There's a bunch of files and what look like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf top now. Huh, alright. You must not leave. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, it's just words. seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I? I? Uh-oh. What the hell? Oh, God! Books are gone. That sixteenth student, I guess. Every single bit of it. But why? Morning. Now I should go back to my room, get some rest. Oh my gosh! This is weird. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I've been there, I think. Why am I light green? Shot? Gee, we, we are still in chapter 3, aren't we? As I desperately hold my shaky frame towards the gym. The sound goes on the Oh boy. What's going on? You're in the gym. Uh. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, no. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Is it Sakura punching the wall? What?
Whoa! One side's not human, that's for sure, but... Wow. You? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! Oh my god! I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Yeah! Oh, right, boy. Right. You do uh -huh. realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> no. What am I looking at? It's telling me. What am I hearing? A hostage? It could it be? Well, I had a feeling that whoever the spy was, they were gonna turn it on. Wow, there's only seven of us left now. Ooh. Baby, I got an item. Hey, I got Super Robo Justice. Cool. Yes, I would definitely like to save the data. And I'm gonna do it up here. Okay, um. Maybe. Save, save, save. Okay, just a little preview of Chapter 4 here, I guess. <laughs> Then he got executed. Gifumi killed Top Out, and Celeste killed Gifumi. But she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Well, guys and gals, I tell you what, man. You know what? Just to make double dome, sure, I'm gonna make another save here. Just in case. There. Alright. Because there's no way I'm starting on this tonight, even though I'd love to. Oh my gosh, I really, really love to. If I do that, then I'm gonna fart, so. Ah! We don't need any more farts than we already got. 